Hi everybody, welcome to episode 5. So, I have been busy actually. Um, I've spent a lot of time offline. I have not done anything really crazy, but what I have done is bred a bunch of cattle. So we have cows, that means that we have meat as you can see down there at the bottom. I have a lot of steak. Um, I have also been farming the heck out of, well i got some trees here too that I've been doing. Um, I have also been farming the heck out of the sugar cane as you can see it growing around and my just regular farm but what I decided that I needed to do was that I've got a bunch of work uh, building materials uh, you can see here got a bunch of sugar canes that I've been doing I got some extra meat that I've done um, but I have not done anything any additions to the castle let me show you where I've been doing with the um, building materials this is my new basement as you can see I have been tearing this place apart and since I was underneath the desert I now have all the sandstone I thought it would look really nice to have it here this floor looks really cool too so anyway over here it punches through to a cave and over there in the other corner it punches through to a cave I did not go in there there was some coal or iron down here I don't know what it was um, so yeah there's a little bit of iron right here but that goes through to a dark area so we'll go hit that later so I was thinking though what I would do is this is a good opportunity to expand the castle before we really head off and start diving deep into the underworld I have flattened this desert out and I'm going to extend the walls out with all my materials I'm gonna replace all the cobblestone and get rid of that and make this look like a real place now you know it's time to make it look professional so that's what this episode is going to be this episode is going to be me destroying this the castle rebuilding the castle expanding the castle and making it look good so that by the time we get to episode six we're going to do some serious caving so i'm going to do a lot of editing in this episode it's going to be a bunch of back and forth i have a plan for what my castle is going to look like i hope i have enough rocks to do it um, well, I should once I tear all this other stuff up. So I will be checking back and forth with you uh, as I go. So with that in mind, I'll see you in a few. Okay, I think you can kind of see what I'm going with here. Um, that cave still kind of freaks me out. But I'm going with just some sandstone here on the bottom, a couple brick layers. And I thought I'd do that on the top. I might change that. I think it looks... I kind of wanted to go with that um, kind of a desert-looking castle little bit you know combining a little bit of the effects of the natural environment since I'm going to be in a desert um, and the sandstone looked pretty good putting that up there but I don't know if I'm going to do that because it it leaves the possibility of me falling off the side there so anyway this is what the walls are going to look like um, so I'm gonna do some more and I will get back to you here in a minute so I know what you're thinking why on earth do I need a castle this big well Honestly, I don't really know, but my thought was is that I just wanted to secure as much space as I could so that I could do whatever I wanted to later on. Now, what that may be, I don't know, but I figure we're going to need melon farms, we're going to need an alchemy stand, we're going to need enchant enchantment area, we're going to need a lot of stuff. So, I didn't want to be pressed for space later on, I figured I had all the materials now, I would just do this all in one episode and just get it all out of the way. So maybe I don't know. In the last in the last series, I did the transition where oh, darn it, I ran out of half flaps. Um, in the last episode or series, as I was saying, I would do some construction every um, so often, but um, I just figured I'd just get it all done, just get it out of the way. I'll have to go through and light all this up, but I think it's gonna look fairly impressive when I'm done. You know, I think later on what we'll do, just for the the breakup episodes where we want to um, mix things up a little bit. The nice thing about this is that these are all half slabs, so nothing can spawn on them. Ha ha ha. Um, but what I'll do for some later episodes, when I want to build some extra stuff, is I will just add on to the castle some towers and stuff. I do have something that I'm going to do for uh, Weary Man. He mentioned about set up my castle out on the island where I found the sugar cane well it gave me an idea and I'm saving it for the future at this point because at by the time I got the suggestion I'd already filmed the episodes so and that meant I already had the base um, the base model of the castle already set up because I was already through episode 3 by the time you saw episode 1 um, 
So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something out there on those islands when I come back to do some more building later on, and just for him. <laughs> um, and and as a little as an extra little treat, yes, it's going to have a little bit of savanna wood in it. <laughs> Don't worry, it, it it I will keep it tasteful. I just I had an idea for it, and I think it's going to look pretty sweet. I hope it does. If it doesn't, then I will just tear it down or pretend, or in that case, burn it down. <laughs> so, I don't know. This is kind of the fun. If anybody's got any suggestions on things to build, you know what? I will take the suggestions and I will get to it and build them. Why not? You know, you guys have been great to communicate with on the comments and everything, so I feel like, you know, this is, we're all in this together the way I look at Oop, can't do that. Ugh, let's just throw them then. I look at it this way. We're all kind of, we're all in this together, and I've had so much fun playing with playing the game and talking to everybody and stuff so you know this is this is all of our series that's kind of how I see it so if you see something you want me to do in it um, just give me a shout out one of the things I mean my goal is still gonna be the same I still want to beat the two bosses oh man this ran out I still want to beat the two bosses that is still my primary goal I'm gonna beat the dragon I'm gonna beat the wither those are my two things in this series in this season we're gonna do it oh except these trees are going to get in the way. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of something else that's going to be fit, fitted out there, all this wood. We're going to find a nice spot for that. Um, i got some more clean stuff. So, yeah. You know, just, just let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see done, and I will do it. I'm not a master with um, redstone. I can do some things. And I don't want to get into a thing where, oh, I can just go look it up on YouTube and do the same thing. You know, that kind of defeats the purpose. If I'm going to do something with Redstone, I kind of want to do it on my own. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Let's torch these up. Because these are not half, well, these are half slabs, but they're full slabs. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could do anything on YouTube and what would be the diff, you know, what would be the point. Okay, this is going to be like monster farm inside here unless I go to sleep. So, but yeah, you know. Let me know. Let's just keep the communication going. So I'm gonna work on. Th I'm gonna continue working on this, and I will check back with you here in a few minutes once I have what I think is complete. Oh, that stinks. Put that there and there. Okay, so I'll see you in a few. Welcome back. Okay, so I've made a little bit more progress, and you see I now have enlisted cow guards. These guys are the best at defending fortresses out here in the wilds. Um, what I have is I've torn this middle section down here and I've decided to put a fence here so I can see into the cows. I don't know why I wanted to do that. For, for some reason I just wanted to keep that open. So don't know. Anyway, here is the massive inner area of the castle that I now have. It is all lit up. When the night comes we will see how protected how safe it is. Oh, I got a little bit of piece right here I didn't do yet. Um, but yeah, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably move my room over to over there maybe. Actually, I'll probably move it over here so I'm not next to the cows and I'll put my storage room over here so that because my storage room over here just my basic bedroom is just a little too small there's no way I'm going to really be able to expand on this unless I make some vertical tower. I could go out here and move the infinity, infinite water source, but I would just be cramped, and there's no reason for me to be cramped, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to move. I'll leave this as like the rear entrance, and I'll make another entrance on the other side. So that's something that is going to be coming soon. So I just wanted to give you a little progress report. That's where things are at. This has got to be cleaned up still. I might do something special that I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to clean up those other rocks around the cows because you see that's all cobblestone in there still. So from the exterior, that's not going to look so good. Okay, so let me get back to work and I will check back with you here in a few minutes. And I think we are done with the construction. Um, oops. Need to do something about those stairs there. Well, I'm mostly done with the construction, let's just say I'm not completely done. To say I was completely done would be kind of a stretch. There's my cow guard out there in the corner. If you ever play Diablo 2, then you know why I have those cows, man. They're awesome. This is the cow level. Uh, what I thought I would do is let's hang out for the night. Let's see what happens. Everything should be lit now. 
So I'm going to go through the evening and make sure that my place is as secure as I think it is. All these half slabs, nothing should be able to spawn on them. I have enough, I have enough adequate light everywhere. I will in a second once I light this back up. Everything is four spaces off. Oh, you know what? That's part of it. I now this should be good. Throw one back in here. That's the way I do it. Is I do every four spaces. One, two, three, four just to make sure that no matter what there's a thunderstorm then I don't have to worry about it. I'll probably clean it up later when I put some in make this into some rooms but I kinda like the openness of having the open roof. Um, that's just me. So let's see how the night goes and hopefully we won't have anybody come through. In fact you know what? Well yeah, they won't be able to climb up. Let's do this. Let's just close that off and we'll go check in afterwards. So, and I know that's clean. So I'm going to go close myself up, wait out the night, and then I'll, when I come out in the morning, we'll see if there's anything bad that surfaced. So, I'll see you in a few, okay? Well, it's almost daytime, and I thought we'd go take a look at the the inner perimeter and make sure there's nothing there. I don't think there would be. Um, I've just been hanging out not doing much. As you can see it looks like we're good everywhere. I got a little little work I still have to do. But overall I think we are in good shape. This is a spider proof wall too. As it has a little lip on it. Yeah. So this is the castle. That cow has done an awesome job hasn't he? Um, here we go. Just a quick panoramic view of our of our building. I think I went a little bigger this time. Now we have room. We'll be able to expand on this and just do more. So, which is nice, not having to have to deal with all that amplified junk. <laughs> like I said, it it was it's fun to play on if you're doing single player. But when I'm trying to record a let's play. Man, does it eat up space because it is tear down a mountain, tear down a mountain, tear down a mountain everywhere I go. So, anyway, here we go. Oh, I know. I want to show you one other thing really quick here. Now my farm is completely grown. I'm going to show you the way I, why I have it all set up like this. This is how quickly I destroy my farm. I do this. All I have to do is hold down the button. Everything is torn up. Yeah, if I can get in the aisle here, do, 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 just tear it all apart. Now I could automate this, and I've thought about maybe I could put a hopper down at the other end, at either end of it. And I sit here, I load up on my seeds, and then I go back and just replant everything. I don't know if anybody else does it backwards like I do, but this is really good for not ma for making sure you don't miss any of the spots. So what happens here is that everything collects on the ends or it hovers over the side so when I come back and replant it, boom, everything's all done. Everything goes into one nice location at the at either end. And that's it. That's how I collect all that's how my farm works. That's everything's harvested and planted basically in thirty seconds. So I kind of like that method. Speaking of which, let's go have let's go make some cows. Um, I'm gonna probably have to move these cactus here, but we can do this. Doo -doo -doo. Hi, cows. We can just sit here, just scroll back and forth, let them go nuts with each other. Oh man, I did that tonight. Uh, well, there we go. Copyright infringement on YouTube. Bummer. Darn it. <laughs> Oh well, it's not like I'm trying to monetize anything anyway. They can take their three cents and stuff it. Yeah, I said it. There is one video I have actually monetized, and I figured, you know, because it had 900 views <laughs> for some stupid reason. It's my second Starbound video that I did, and in it I asked the question, how to eat? Because I literally was asking how to eat. But it's funny because I, I like playing with the analytics and stuff, and one of the Yahoo searches is people asking how to eat on Starbound. So it pulls up my episode. 
so there's all these people come to that episode and unfortunately that's not what it was all about it really was me asking the same question that everybody else was asking so it's 14 minutes of me messing around in Starbound I feel bad about that but yeah so I don't know that was just my silly thing all these cows so we got leather and we got steak for days and weeks on end by the time we get that enchantment table we are gonna be we get two diamonds we're rolling so uh, little baby cows running around yeah I mean this the farm just grows exponentially I can just make a bunch of cows then kill off the adults god that sounds so bad doesn't it I don't mean it to sound bad I really don't sounds so terrible um, but anyway I think that is that's kinda where we're at for the episode I think I'll tinker with that I don't know what I'm gonna do with this and I don't know what I'm gonna do with my storage room oh yeah I can go open this up now I just had it closed I don't know what I'm gonna do with my storage room but I'll figure something out one other thing I'm gonna probably do in my free time is I'm just gonna take all of this sandstone kind of like the sandstone so I'm gonna do that too but that's something I'm not gonna do in this episode so oh oh yeah, duh let's go outside and take a look what am I thinking stupid of me let's go outside we'll take a look and I think that'll be where we're at oh yeah I replaced the sandstone in here too so there might be some creepers out since I stayed up all night so there's our wall it is a long wall let's go over here we'll get a little angle on it so yeah, the entrance needs a little work, but you can see, there we go. Now I do know that skeletons can hide and zombies can hang out underneath the thing here, but that's okay. I'm used to that. And there won't be anything next to my door, because I'll probably put the door right here on this corner. Could make a lava moat just pour down right next to it, that'd be kind of fun. Let's get up here, let's take a look. Why did he climb the mountain? Because it was there. So there it is. Kind of blends in, doesn't it? Um, but it's got a nice little outline. I, I, I think it's a clean look. I kind of I like it. Um, I, it's funny because I actually sat there on a on a um, creative world and I experimented around with like with different wall combinations to get the one that I liked and I eventually came up with this. So that was that. So okay. One thing, a couple things I did notice while I was on my, while I was working on this though, and I think this will be a good segue into the next episode, if I don't fall into the lava over here. In fact, let's not walk that way. It's probably not a good idea to do that. I'm leaving that lava there because at some point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dig that up for obsidian. So that's why that is staying there and I haven't decided to pour sand on top of it. But what I did notice while I was construct while I was doing some work, oh, there's a little pillar I missed right there, was that this looked like a ravine over here. Right here. No, maybe not. No, maybe it's just a cave. Huh. Well, that looks fun. So we have the cave underneath our base, and we have this cave over here. And I think this one looks pretty fun, too. Should check this out. Hmm. Oh yeah, this goes down under here too. Ah, interesting. Whoa, there's the ravine. Or pit of death, I should say. Let's get around this without falling into it. Leave me alone, sheep. Okay, so that's a pit of death, and that goes there's some coal. That's pretty nice. I'll have to pick that up. So, okay, so we got places to go, things to kill, and diamonds to find, because that is, oh, look at that. Almost another. Eh, it wouldn't have been that bad, though. But that goes in there, too. Okay, so we got lots of areas to go, and check, check these out. And there's a good exterior view of the castle right here on the wall, on the um, edge of the hill. <laughs> that's gotta be fixed that looks pretty terrible over there so we'll get to that um, anyway I think that is episode number five 
and in the next episode we are going to go cave diving we're going to get ourselves some diamonds it is that time to do it so until next time folks i will see you and i hope that you all have a good day oh and once again thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it <laughs>